Okay, we're going to talk about all the new features for the spring update, including storage sense. We're going to go take a look at this in detail. So let's go open up the settings and type in storage. And you'll see it right here on the menu. Now, don't click on manage storage spaces. Instead, click the top one that says storage. And you'll see here it talks about all your hard drives, wherever you have storage. And you can click on them and it'll do this. It'll take a little bit to go through here and uh, figure out how much is stored on that particular uh, drive. Uh, it's interesting. I'm not sure that most people would use this. What we really want to do is start talking about storage sense. Now, before you just click on free up space now, we're going to click on how they do it. So we're going to go and take a look at that. And again, there's the ability to turn on storage sense. and It tells you, hey, let Windows decide or run at whatever time you want to do it. Deleting temporary files, you can say never or a certain amount of days. Now the same goes for your downloads folder. You can select never, which I usually mine on never, uh, but you can choose the number of days you want it to do that. And then you can also uh, look down here, it says free up space now, which uh, says you can delete previous versions of Windows. If we look at the hard drives, I'm going to go look at mine. You'll see here I have several versions of Windows. Because this PC is on the Insider program, uh, I have them. So let's take a look at how much space each one has. Well, here's one with 7 gigabytes of space. Now, normally Windows will clean these up after 30 days anyways. And I have a couple of them, again, because this is an Insider uh, computer. So I'm taking a look at all of them and seeing how much space I have uh, being used up by all these. And look, here's one here that has quite a bit of space. And it's uh, 20, I think it's 24 gig. Take a look here. Yep, 24 gig of space is being used up. And if you have a small SSD, uh, that's a significant uh, part of your storage. And you, one thing you want to look at is when that was created. You notice here that this one's in September of 2017, so it's an old one. Didn't get cleaned up for some reason. So I'm definitely going to try and get rid of all these old, old folders because totally, uh, the ones that have actual uh, content, well, hell, it was 24 and 7, so it should be around 31 gigabyte or close to it of space being used up that I could use on my uh, drive. Sure enough, 31.4. So let's go back to the utility um, that's in the settings, and we're going to go back how we change up free space automatically, um, and we're going to go here. Now, the storage sense, I'm going to leave off again temporarily and go over here to the change how we do it. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to go with free space now. And it's going to take a while here to scan your system and figure out what all types of files there are, and give you a description of what uh, they're about, and whether or not you should delete them. So if you look at the top, it's still scanning. It's not done yet, so you have to wait a little while. And it'll eventually populate this entire list. It'll turn bright white when it's done. And should be any second now. It takes a bit when there's um, previous Windows installations. So we'll give it a couple more seconds here. And again, it'll turn bright. There it is. Uh, it's finished scanning. So let's take a look at some of these uh, options here. Now, the first one is Windows Upgrade Log Files. These are the files that are logged as Windows does the upgrade. And it tells you that it has information that can help you troubleshoot. Note the last sentence. Deleting these files can make it difficult to troubleshoot installation issues. Highly recommend you take that off. Unless you're months after a, a complete upgrade, then it's no big deal if everything's working correctly. But right after an upgrade, definitely uncheck this box. The next one is System Created Windows Error Reporting Files. Uh, it's only 65K. I wouldn't worry too much about that. The next section is the Windows Defender Antivirus. Non-critical stuff, sure, go ahead and leave that checked. It's only 21 meg, not a big deal. Thumbnails, only 10 megabytes here, but it allows you when you're browsing directories and you see thumbnails of the actual pictures and stuff to come up very fast. It'll re-index them when it has to, uh, but you may want to keep that. Now, the rest of it, again, is all sort of self-explanatory. If you go to temporary files, for example, uh, they can be blown away. They'll get recreated. But uh, the recycle bin, any of your garbage you uh, want to get rid of there, it shows you how much you have. You can go ahead and blow that away. But let's talk about the previous window installations. 
So that if let's go down here and those are the files we talked about earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that and say, okay, I want to have it done. Oh, by the way, you notice that the interface changes from light to dark as you check and uncheck uh, selections here. So the next section is temporary internet files, and that's different than temporary files. Temporary internet files are the same ones you can click on your browser uh, to clean up your, your cache there. Uh, remember though here, your, your passwords, all that stuff for your sites are not gonna get deleted. Um, the next one is your uh, delivery optimization files. Okay, delivery optimization is when your system is downloading files in order to do an update. And it stores these files locally. In case you get interrupted, it can resume later on. And after it's done, those files are still there. Uh, they get cleaned up eventually, but you may want to get rid of any update files. You can simply click on that. I'd wait for a little while after your uh, upgrade is done in case you have to download the upgrade again. Uh, so you want to keep those files for a little while. The last section is your DirectX shader cache. And this is uh, basically a game when it's creating uh, uh, your views. It caches certain files to make them display faster, to make the graphics display. You may have tons of these old files out there for other games and all that stuff. You can get rid of that cache and it'll rebuild it when you play your game. It may take a little bit lo longer at first to run, but uh, it'll eventually recreate just the ones it needs. Okay, I'm ready to go now, so I'm gonna click on Remove Files, and you'll see it says Purging Previous Windows Installations, and it'll go out there and do this. Now, I'm not gonna wait. Uh, I, I can look over here and see if uh, some files are getting deleted, but just let it go ahead and, and do it. Now, if you have previous Windows installations being purged, it's gonna take longer because it's probably pretty big, uh, but this is still light years faster than the old disk cleanup. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do this and uh, see what happens. So uh, let's take a look. It uh, finishes up here, and you see if we click back to the interface, uh, you'll see that a lot of stuff says zero now, so it's been cleared out. Uh, previous one to installations have been cleared out. You notice my hard drive, which was 130-something gigabytes free, is now 159 gigabytes free. So here's a screenshot of the before, the current release on the left uh, with just the one button at the bottom that automatically goes and cleans it up based on the other settings. And here, when free space now, you can actually control to the nth degree of what you want to delete. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of managing your storage, especially the new uh, free up space now functions. Plan on releasing more videos on the spring 2018 updates, so stay tuned.